the humans with werewolf syndrome. Hello, everyone. I'm Kisha, and wish you all a new day full of joy. If you still remember Beauty and the Beast by French writer Gabriel Suzanne de Villeneuve, no, it's a time to meet the archetype of that story. The people in this video have so much hair that if you happen to meet them, you would think they were wearing makeup. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number five, Priscilla Behano. Priscilla Bejano was born in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, on April 26, 1911. When she was born, not only was her head full of black hair, but she also had a coarse black coat that covered her entire face and body. She also has two unusual rows of teeth. After many visits to the hospital, the American doctor said that she is the result of a genetic defect and can never be cured. Ever since she was a child, Priscilla's hirsutism has attracted the attention of the public. Her father thought his daughter would make a great attraction in the show. He approached performer Carl Lothar, who made Priscilla shine in an instant. Lothar was nice to Priscilla. He didn't want people to call his adopted daughter Monkey Girl, but what he wanted never happened because no one would care if he wanted it or not. Although Lothar didn't like the name, it generated a lot of gigs for him. During a performance, Priscilla got to know Amit Behano, who was Crocodile's kin man. They had a romantic relationship. To escape the grief of their adoptive father, the couple eloped one night in 1938. They later returned to the stage as the world's strangest married couple. Priscilla and Amit worked together for a number of years, after which they retired to life away from prying eyes. Priscilla died in her sleep in February 2001. Number 4. Alice Doherty Alice Doherty was born on March 14, 1887, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA. She has blue eyes, and her body is covered with blonde hair that is up to two inches long, which grows with age. She was given the nicknames Minnesota Woo Girl, Dogface Girl, and many other derogatory names. In fact, she was very curious and shy. According to the doctors, Alice suffers from the same hypertrichosis as Beethi Acker. This condition is characterized by uncontrolled growth of hair all over the body. No one in her family has this disease. She was the first case, so the parents were extremely worried. Respectful parents did not abandon their daughter, although at that time, children like her were often considered evil. They gained commercial interest when the girl was only two years old, whose mother displayed her in freak shows. Alice did not get pleasure from her work, but continued to perform trying to support the family financially. In 1915, Alice left the circus, moving to Texas afterwards, with such a rare defect that could have made her much richer, but that didn't happen. Perhaps, Alice was more apathetic on stage than her colleagues, because at that time, the circus where she worked was full of weirdos. Alice died on June 13, 1933, for unknown reasons. Number 3 be the actor. Be the actor who lived in Tangal district, central Bangladesh, is nicknamed the wolf by her classmate. She suffers from a rare genetic disease that causes her body to be covered with a black hair like a monkey, from head to toe. Even her face is no exception. She was taken to many doctors, but no one was able to cure the disease completely. While the money from medicine made her family fall into a difficult situation, she was admitted to Bangabandhu Shikmu Medical College for treatment. Here, doctors are trying to find out the cause of the condition, although some problems will go away with medication. But the doctors still try to find the cause of the disease to stop disease recurrence. According to doctors, BV actors suffer from hypertrichosis from birth. The disease also affects all to expect. By puberty, her breasts also grew so fast and heavy that she could not walk or sit upright, which caused her great pain. Beefy's mother forced her to drop out of school. Number 2. Yu Zhenhuan Yu 
Yu Jianhuan, born in 1979 in China, is the man officially named in the Guinness Book of World Records in 2002 as the world's hairiest person. His body is covered with 96% hair, like a giant chimpanzee King Kong, as he said. Yu Jianhuan was born into a peasant family, and when he was two years old, his parents noticed that he had long hair that grew out of his ears. The situation got worse as he grew older, and now, Almost his entire body is covered with a long, thick coat. The name of his rare disease is unknown at this time, but it is not hereditary because his family has no such condition. He used to be called Kaldra and stoned as an innocent child, with no friends. No children wanted to be near him, but he's clear on one thing, that he doesn't let those things get in the way of his ambitions. He still works, earns a living, instead of self-deprecating. He also revealed that he really liked the character, King Kong. At the age of six, Yu started acting in his old film, titled A Hairy Child's Adventure, and later entered the Guinness Book of World Records as the hairiest person in the world. He has a dream of becoming a rock singer, and now he has used laser methods to remove some of his body hair. You think no one will love him? It's not. He has a girlfriend, and she's really pretty. Number 1. Julia Pastrana Julia Pastrana was born in western Mexico in 1834. Her whole body was covered with a thick layer of hair like a monkey. Not only that, but she also suffered from gum hyperplasia that made her gums and lips very thick. Her front jaw protruded like a primitive person. The villagers believed that her mother had an affair with the devil. Therefore, her mother and daughter were chased away by them. The turning point in her life happened when she was discovered and used by Theodore Land, a circus owner. Thanks to her monstrous appearance, her performance quickly became famous. Names like Bear Woman, Ape Woman, and worse, World's Ugliest Woman were plastered on poster of her performances at the dam. Only 20 years old, but Julia was already the highest paid woman in the world. Theodore Land was a ruthless businessman when all he cared about was money so he was seduced to marry Julia. In 1860, Julia had with him a son, who also possessed his modest strength fur. Due to the limited medical level that day, only five days after giving birth, both mother and child died. Theodore Land's ruthlessness really reached his peak then. He immediately contacted Professor Sukolov of Moscow University to embalm mother and daughter. The mummies of two were put in a large glass box and displayed and exhibited in major museums around the world. In February 2013, she was finally buried. So, after more than 150 years of drifting, Julia was finally able to return to her homeland, ending a life of hardship and bitterness. That's all for today. Hope you guys will enjoy this video and continue to support me in all the videos. We still have other hair covered people in the next videos. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you again!